For a 10% discount from Regston, simply enter the discount code HORPIUS at the checkout. Well, hello, hope it's Maximus here, and I'm back. I've been out again. I've been out on a couple of digs. Found a few mm. nice little bits. One particularly nice coin, a really old hammered silver coin. Uh, I've got the members' finds at the end of the video, as usual, so that's worth a look at. So I hope you enjoy it. Let's go and see what I found. Bye for now. Well, this uh, higher frequency coil is very good for the small stuff. I've got this and there's some design on there. It looks a bit like a pineapple or a knurled section in the middle. And this is a little medieval bar mount. Um, copper alloy. The lugs have gone on the back. You can see traces of gilt there still. It's got a nice little pattern in the middle. And yeah, a medieval bar mount. Well, me and Martin's out, I've had a lot of scratchy signals and if this is what I think it is, it's my first one Martin You sound excited almost Well, yeah, I thought it was rubbish, I thought it was a button but uh, have a look at that Is that gold quartz there? No, it's silver but I'm wondering if it's, uh, it's what's it? Saxon you bugger, it is. It is a Saxon. I've never, Saxon ever, thing. ever found a Saxon coin. Well, that's your first Saxon see it. Now, this There's is the good rarity. detail on it, I know that. Send it off to Dr. Allen. Do you know how to do it, Dr. Allen? I've got my own expert, I know. Yeah, but yeah. It, it'd be registered on the what's it. Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. Well, I'll be, but I'll be uh, surprised. Yes. Yes. Oh, first one, mate. Now put that on the bloody table next month. That'll definitely go on the table. When I find out exactly what it is. That's the first one from this parish in 20 odd years. Is it? Yeah, first one. Well, this may be very small, and it is. It's only 11.6 mil across, and it weighs 0 0.8 of a gram. And when I found this, I thought, oh, that looks Anglo-Saxon type a definite bucket lister because I've never found one and it is indeed it's the earliest silver hammered coin I found after the Romans left um, I sent the photographs off to a Dr. Allen at the Fitzwilliam Museum in, and he kindly ID'd it and he's put it on the database and it's a Merovingian coin and they were they were circulated as skeets in the Anglo-Saxon period uh, it's dated, as I say, very early, from 584 to 750 AD. It is a desirable coin, it's sought after. Uh, yeah, I found out that the old English word for skeet it means wealth, money and coin. But I really do like that. Yeah, that's a special find for me. Well, this is very muddy, but I found this. And 
it looks like gilt showing through there I'll have to get that cleaned up because that is unusual this little item is a cast copper alloy casket key and it's still got large traces of gilt on it and this end you would normally expect if it was a key to have a little handle but no they made some of them like that with just that rounded knob on the end um, and the one that's on the PAS database dates between 14 to 1500s Well, this is very strange. I thought it was a button. When I cleaned it off, you can see like silverish white metal there. Then I turn it over a little bit there. But then it looks like it's a penny. I'm sure there's the outline of a head or something on there. Never seen anything like that. I'll get back to you when I get it cleaned up. And this is very different indeed. Definitely worth a mention because it's the first I've found. Metal disc, bit of green on the top there, but like rough, silverish looking metal, but it's not silver. And then when I turned it over, let's see if I can get it the right way around so you can see. Can you see there that is? A young Victoria Bunhead. It's a forged penny. Um, and during the Edwardian and Victorian times, they still used to forge the copper pennies. And I found one. So there you go. We're about halfway through the video now and if you like what you see why not subscribe and press the bell icon it's easy to subscribe and it's free and all it does is notify you when i post future videos well i got a signal and uh, when i turned it over this just broke through so it was near the surface and it's a button but there's uh I don't know what the animal is but that will be what's called a livery button a servant's household button I don't normally do buttons I've mentioned that on some of my videos in the past but there was something about this one I thought I would check it out it's got a, a sheep uh, laid on a toss of rope or cloth braided toes and on the back there's still the gilt and it's got Furman and Sons London so I thought okay okay it's not medieval but obviously but let's find out a little bit about it and I sent them an email and they got back to me um, very helpful I was surprised to learn that they are the oldest company in England still to be trading because they started the business in 1655 and they confirmed that uh, it's a livery button worn by grooms, coachmen, footmen and other liveried staff. Um, and they say that was made by them in the late 1800s. So there you go. I'm quite happy about finding out. I haven't got my GoPro, but Martin has found this. Go on the Martin, you tell me. <laughs> wow, I thought it was a button first of all, because I've been about half a dozen buttons, but it's a Roman, and a nice Roman. Good head, good writing, but on the reverse, even better. Look at those two guys yep. standing by an order. Could I have a look? Yeah, sure. Right, let's... Oh, that looks an absolutely cracking coin. That's Roman, I Right, let's see if this will focus, because I don't normally use this. So, there's the head, yep. 
Oh yes. That is absolutely stunning. <laughs> I'll have to get some photos of that when it's all cleaned up, mate. That's great. That is absolutely superb. Well done. Right, well, I've got this. It was fairly near the surface. Oh, it's like a star shape. I think that could be a, a badge of some kind. Can't really see, but I'll get it. I'll get it cleaned up. Could be a military badge, I think. Because I've seen some like that before. I think there's a legend around there. And here we have a cup badge. And it's of the 4th, 7th Royal Dragoon Guards. And they were a cavalry regiment. And they were formed in 1922. Um, under the crown, there's some lettering, which is uh, MCMXXII. And that is the number for 1922 and above the crown they've got the motto which is quiz separabit and that's latin for who will separate us and the next find is this quite heavy so it looks like lead a couple of holes in there oh there's a bit there's a recess there but there's some decoration around there uh, it's either a button with a scratch decoration or uh, could be a could be a hem weight oh, that's quite nice that and I thought this was a button, one of hundreds that I find, but it was heavy and it's made of lead or lead alloy. I thought, okay, well they did have lead buttons, but then I turned it over and there's a recess there, uh, but this matches up exactly online to what's called hem weights or cloth weights. Um, what's unusual about this one is, I think you can see that there's hatchings hatch markings around the uh, outside rim and that's unusual for hemweights they're normally plain and hemweights did between 18 to 1900s well there's something here I don't know if it's part of a buckle oh no there's Looks like studs sticking out there. Oh, it's like an arrow shape. Uh, copper alloy. I'm thinking it's a it's a, a a leather mount of some kind. Well, this item looks like it's a mount of some kind. It's got the shape of an arrow and it's got two lugs on the back. I found similar mounts online and the date between 15 to 1700 well it was a good signal but I'm afraid it's only a lead musket ball and once again we have our members finds, some lovely finds here, and we start with a stunning Anglo-Saxon porcupine skeet. And this one is classed as a Type E, and it dates from the 700s AD. Uh, and a very unusual find here, uh, and it's an early medieval Saxon arrowhead. So well done to that finder. And now we have a silver seal matrix, and it depicts a Christian motif of the pelican in its piety. And this relates to an act of self-sacrifice upon which a pelican pierces its breast to feed its young with its own blood. 
and the seal matrix dates to the 17th century. And just look at this, a superb penny of coin wolf. And he was the king of Mercia. And this coin wolf penny dates 810 to 821 AD. And finally we have this Viking weight. It's made of lead with a bronze insert and there are traces of gilt which can be seen around the insert. The Vikings occupied Britain from 793 to 1066 AD. And again, that's it folks. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I'm working on another video, so hopefully I'll have some lovely finds to show you very soon. So till then, take care. Bye for now.